You're heading in already? Nah, not quite yet. You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? Uh. <sighs> I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <sighs> hmm. Don't want to overstay my welcome. What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? Don't worry, you'll feel much better in the morning. And I promise to take you straight home. Uh, okay. <sighs> Please don't let her hear me again. Jerk! I thought I told you not to leave your room. Now get back in there. Okay.
You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. I'm sorry. If it isn't the new florist. I appreciate you helping the kids out today. Thank you. They won't stop talking about the soldier who saved the day. Oh, and make sure to give my thanks to Aerith, too. Sure. People are talking about you. You've got one hell of a reputation. soon a merc huh see anything you like Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. <laughs> nothing.
can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident, and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But, I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? <laughs> Let's get this over with. Go on! Let's do it right. I'll take care of them. This one's for you! What's that? A big arm. Kinda cute, don't you think? Uh... <laughs> oh, 
Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. I wonder if we can use this. Idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Someone blocked it off because of all the monsters that kept showing up. Pretty dangerous place for kids to play. Raised in the slums, remember? You're tough. Hmm, that's supposed to be a compliment.
bring it. Looks like a dead end. I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Is a crane operator or something? Yeah? Huh? Oh no, look. Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Okay, Cloud! Ready!
Right there! Hold on, while I drop the ladder! Jumping's not an option, that's for sure. Hmm. Look. Hmm? Someone made a campfire. They found a way down. So can we. got this. Don't you mean we've got this? <laughs> so it's my turn? Go on! Do that.
Whoa, not too fast, okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Mm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. <laughs> Compromise. Composite. I don't get it. Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, no, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. We were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due... Do recompense? Uh, no shit, for brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh it's like, uh, uh, Compensatory damages! Uh, so damages recompense! I get it! <laughs> I think we've heard enough. No holding back. <laughs> Soldier. That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Uh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Huh? What we got here? Get ready. Stay back! Uh, uh, that's that. Deal with that. I'll show you what I can do. It's your turn. Let's do this. Oh, 
the time. All right. You're better than this. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm, got it?
Gotcha. Pretty well. Sure did. Uh. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? Get 
just taking a little break. All right, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for- Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! time ago I used to sell flowers here oh yeah <clears throat> so cloud you were a soldier first class right yeah Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. 
We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back. This won't take long. Ready! Wanna get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. Okay, getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer too. Guess this is it then. Ready? No. Aw, you big softy. Gonna miss me? lost you what's going on Shh. I'll explain everything later but now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo you should head back to seventh heaven meet up with the gang but I'll be fine you've seen how much ass I can kick I have <laughs> yeah yeah
Oh, no, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Come on! Okay. Come on, Cloud! We gotta hurry! Hey there, where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. Huh. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl here? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... She's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Hey, newbie. This delivery isn't due for inspection. Huh? These ones addressed to John Corneo? Yes, idiot. Those ones. Welcome to Wall Market! The pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody! Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. So, what kind of mischief you looking to get up to tonight? 
You gotta let go of your inhibitions and set yourself free. Ooh. One more round. Um. Pretty rowdy place. Hey there. We're a pharmacy, but we stock other stuff too. I will go wherever my research leads me, but the success of my endeavors rests entirely upon you. Your assistance would be much appreciated. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I've registered a new summons battle intel request. Please, take a look. I need you to defeat the summon entity so I can complete the materia. Ten an hour. No food. your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. Keep 
it together. I'll take care of them. <laughs> Tagging out. I got this. Get ready. Work, Cloud. This is incontrovertible proof that the universe has a sense of humor. Now that you have a fun new partner in Fat Chocobo, you can work together to squash Shinra like a bug.
I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Monster Burger. Hold it. Best to steer clear of this alley. You may not like the people you find down here, and they may not like you. you give any... We're cool, though. Just blowing off work is all. Sign out front? All I got is materia. Buddy.
feel rejuvenated and alive. It's like I've got a brand new body. That was the best thing that's ever been done to me. My sweet, sweet Madam M. I'm a customer for life. Have a place to stay this enchanted evening? We have the perfect room for a sweet looking couple like you. No thanks. But you thought about it, didn't you? <laughs> Just give me a holler when you change your mind. What I need. Hmm? Oh, to enter or not to enter, that is the question. Wherefore does this philosophical quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? Yeah, I should have figured. You're not the philosophical introspective type like me. That soft, naive face. I know you're kind well, bro. You're just another muscle head who uses violence to work through your inner demons. It's sad, really. Huh? Yeah, what's up? Seen Tifa around? Tifa? My love? My light? Who are you and how do you know her? No, shut up. I don't care. Tifa's here? Why? Tell me why! Oh, God, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She kept looking for me to beg me not to leave her. <gasps> Snap out of it, Johnny. Your Tifa needs you. Tifa, I'm coming, baby. Who was that? Nobody you want or need to know. Look, the doors are about to open. Our sweet, sweet night is about to begin. down everywhere. Everywhere but here, that is. Oh my god, I finally get to meet Andrea. Just don't forget about the special cheer. The audience is part of the court. We have to help make it a great show. Our sweet, sweet night is about to begin. I am but a bee fluttering about the garden. How the hunt doth find my wings Not with its treacle. Oh, poison sting, thy name is beauty. And that is the essence of Andrea Rodea's show. Look, the doors are about to open. Our sweet, sweet night is about to begin.
starts cracking down everywhere. Everywhere but here. My apologies, sir. We are not ready to open at this time. I know why you're here. To gawk at the honey girls, right? As if you're not here to gawk at the honey boys. What? Uh, aren't you that leaf house? Uh, hey! What the hell, Merc? Digging into people's personal affairs in this town is a huge no-no. What are you doing here? Uh, well, if you must know, I've wanted to be a dancer ever since I was a little girl. I come here at night to live the dream. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell the children, okay? I've always wanted to dance for a living. I've always wanted to dance for a living. Gotta stay sharp, though. Lifetime bands are lifetime bands. Honey girl, there ever was. It's an undisputed truth, and I dare anyone. To Guess who got my. It's always best to be prepared for the worst, wouldn't you agree? Quality monster insurance is more essential than ever these days. What's that? You're very interested in the coverage we offer? Only our premium policy will do for you, sir. It's always best to be prepared for the worst, wouldn't you agree? This up, you might want to sign up for disability insurance. No, no way! You've lost your marbles, man! My marbles are secure, sir. Tis you who are crazy.
Sorry, buddy. Yeah. The place is full. Hey, you hear about that real narrow street just over there? You're not still wasting your gill at the Honeybee Inn, are you? <laughs> you bet I am. Found me a secret route in, one nobody don't know about. Only trouble is it's filled with drunks and garbage. you think? He's fine, just drunk. Like the rest of them. Am I right? Cordero has an understanding. Uh, yeah. You know how much yeah. power each one. Only a select few. Have yeah. you tried the seasonal stuff? records a while back, but I'm still looking for my first big hit. It's been seven years now. Not easy, but you gotta do what you love. And I love to sing. This is a new song of mine. Maybe it'll be that number one. But they still fall. Okay, coming right up. I'm pretty good, you know. Dig a hole and throw me in. I'm already dead. Hey there, friend. Grab a seat. Any seat that's open. Sure about that? Still got room for more? Made a little extra. Want to spend it on some good So, eating. what will it be? There's something wrong with the wiring. Step right up. Step right up. It's 
You know, I've heard from more than a few people that my son Johnny has been roaming the streets of Walmart. Before he leaves town, I need to make sure I deliver him his lucky pillow. I have faith in my boy, of course. But a growing man needs plenty of sleep. Sleep of good quality, no less. That's how mind and body stay healthy and active. In other words, this pillow is crucial to his health. <laughs> Welcome. Are you in need of accommodations? Have a safe trip. No preferences we can't accommodate. No, sir. So, where are the shaking? No. Check it out. Uh, I think we might have found our man, and he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Welcome to Walmart's premier weapon shop. Do come again. And blow us all the hell and back. We're safe for now. Welcome, come on in, take a look, take a look. Yeah. 
Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Wall Market. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. If you're hell-bent on getting in, then go bother the trio. this if you've got any better ideas not really so that's the way it is hmm? tifa's been invited into the don's estate huh but to earn such a privilege you must first win the approval of one of the trio right meaning i now know what i must do to save her stay strong tifa help is on the way johnny's coming baby <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope.
Oh, it wasn't supposed to go down like this. This the place? I just wanted to see Andrea. Think so. Curse my weak will. Let me handle this. But it was you like... wait out here, okay? Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that. You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh. We don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. I'm sorry that I couldn't be of more help to you. I guess they're closed right now? I feel rejuvenated and alive. It's like I've got a brand new body. That was the best thing that's ever been done to me. My sweet, sweet Madam M. I'm a customer for life. Why don't we try looking for another one of the trio? Oh. What happened with you know what? It's all taken care of. Aren't you a curious cat, walking dark alleys? You've got balls, so I'll give you a pass. This once. Wait, you don't mean the newbie too, right? I said deal with it. Can't have this coming back on Sam or the Dawn. I understand.
What happened with you know what? It's all taken care of. The only thing is the newbie screwed up. You didn't see or hear anything. You get me? Wait, you don't mean the newbie too, right? I said. <laughs> My ah. lovely weather we're having. Mm. They call themselves uh. bankers, but they're just no sharks and suits. Hey, you think that guy's doing okay? He wasn't looking so hot, you know. Maybe we should go check on him? But this street, isn't it? The one that everyone says is bad news? Shit, you're right. I don't want to go down there now. Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, hear us out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong. And you'll leave me in peace. No thanks. Oh, not a gambler, huh? Pretty enough gown, just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. After all, baby, so you're what kind of mischief you looking to get up to? Tonight? Huh? It shot you? Well, that's not good for business. Wiring must be faulty or something. Welcome to the world of tomorrow. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. the two of you step right up now then what manner of massage do you desire 
Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! Oh. The strong, firm hands of a fighter. Yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Cloud? I should warn you, this technique has certain risks. Huh? It's somewhat experimental. You may find it extremely pleasurable and rewarding. Or the opposite. Uh, wait. Absolutely not. You asked for this. Now take it like a man. Everything hurts. You'll enjoy it more next time. Do come again. How was it? Not now. Maybe not ever. Did something happen to you in there? Just... just give me a sec. Just one? Maybe a few minutes. Hmm? Think you'll make a habit of it? Alright then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But, you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? matter what I think? Well, I think it's pretty cool. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, 
I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. There any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. 